and welcome to today's video tutorial and today I'm going to be sharing with you how to make this lovely napkin fold card which has had a lot of love on my blog and various forms of social media um, it's a, quite a tricky card so I'm going to go through the mechanics of it if I can remember how to do it because I did forget in the middle of the class well I didn't forget but I struggled um, the, it comes with a belly band that you slide off Okay, to me, and then it opens up like this. Now, there's no cutting involved on this card apart from creating the belly band, it's all scoring. And I've used the Pressed Petals Designer Series paper, which is a thinner paper, but you do get double um, the sheets, you get 24 sheets. So let's get cracking i'm using a piece this is some old stuff that we used to sell in case i go wrong i'm using a piece of 12 by 12 vanilla you might see that it's got a linen um effect on it but we don't do that one we just do the smooth now so i'm using up my stuff um so i'm using 12 by 12 i would normally use my scorer here but i don't have one at home so i've tried to simplify this and make everything really really easy for you and we're going to start by scoring at three inches and we're going to just score on every side at three inches and I have just realized that I've forgotten something crucial so this could be fun <laughs> could be really fun because I could do this wrong now so then we've scored at three inches on every side. And we really do need a pen, or pencil, sorry, and a ruler, a long ruler, which Julie has forgotten. So what I'm going to do is, it's really important that you fold all these score lines and then use your bone folder. So, we're going to take the um, inside of the card, okay, and this is where you'd need your ruler and a pencil, and Julie's forgotten a ruler, however, I do have this mat, and it goes to 30 centimetres, you need, we're working in inches, and um, actually, let's use the trimmer, let's try it with my trimmer, okay, so we'll put it in at 6 inches, so we know that that's, that's in the middle. And then 15.25 centimetres is the middle. So let me find that in the middle of this track here. We might be a little bit off, but we'll give it a good go. Should be about there. So hopefully you will have a ruler and a pencil. Okay, so once we've... Um, scored all our lines and gone over the bone folder we're then going to bring and we've done the dot in the middle we're then going to bring each corner and it's really important that you do this into the middle folding in now i would suggest when you do this um you have a go on a practice piece of old 12 by 12 that you're not bothered about. Don't use your last piece of your best stuff. Okay, so we've folded that. Yep. And we're actually going to open it up again. And we're going to turn it so we've got the, um, this is where the three is. So what we're going to do is we want this point to go into the middle. And that point to go into the middle. And you get a square. 
okay so each of the points we want to go into the middle so we get a square into the middle so we get a square like that and if it's like making those things at school you know you used to do with the numbers underneath and the colors and once you've got that we're going to then fold these back on themselves Now I've rushed this one because for time purposes of the video and I've not quite got it um, spot on. Okay, and there we have our card. Now we're going to do some decorating. I'll just put this to one side. So what you need to be aware, you've got, I'm not going to do the middle because that's, I'll leave that for you to do. You've got three bigger, four bigger triangles there. And then we've got two, four, six, two, four, six. Hang on, we've got, you need four pieces um, of paper for the triangles, four different ones. So you need one big piece. I'm not making much sense. One big piece, and this is five and a half inches square. And then you need four other pieces that are three and three quarters square. Now I can't show you those because I've already cut them down to save time. But I will show you um, the patterns I've chosen. I've chosen the linen one. I've chosen this gorgeous floral one and the back of that one, the Merlot one, and then the music note. So they, you need four squares that are three and three quarters inches and one square that is five and a half inches. So, and you need to cut them all into fours, into triangles. So I'm just going to show you how I've done one. So you'll put the points, lay the points on the tracker. Now, don't just go up from the bottom because you'll damage the point. So what I would do is lift the score up slightly, start from the middle and then go down. And then you've got your two big triangles. Now pop this in so that the straight edge is at the top, but lay the point in the tracker and again start in the middle and come down. And then we've got our smaller triangles and again do that again. So you end up with those. Then you see so you have four big ones and then four lots. So you've got 16 small triangles and four big ones. Now this paper is a bit thinner. If you're going for this paper, so don't overload it with glue. Um, but what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna use um, this snail adhesive. And I'm gonna decide where I want to. I'm just actually gonna speed this up now, really fast. So you don't actually have to watch me stick in. Okay, so I finished adhering all the um, pieces of paper. In the middle, if you wanted to do something in the middle, then do a contrasting colour five and three quarters square, and then your very vanilla five and a half inches square. So let's work on the belly band now. So we have this ready to go. The For the belly band, the measurements in the vanilla are two inches by 12 inches and then for the paper it's one and three quarter inches by 12 inches and I'm actually going to stick the paper to the card. We had great fun in class when we were working with our music notes to um, decide whether it was, the music notes were the right way 
Okay, so I'm sticking that to there. And then fold the card up and lay it on top of your belly band. And I would use the line of your grid paper. I'm going to use this to get it e sort of equal. And then I would literally bend that over. Now, this won't meet. So just to manage your expectations there, that won't meet. There will be about a centimetre gap. So what we're going to do now is we're going to tie some ribbon. Now, when I'm tying my ribbon, I always tie it upside down and I've just turned that round. I'm using the denim ribbon because, yep, denim goes with everything. Um, and I'm going to lay that underneath. And remember, I've got this upside down. I do have a, a video on tying bows. Um, if you want to watch it. And I have had requests for a bow tying class. feel like that was my best effort on a bow but never mind it's a little bit twisted but hey I can get it wrong too I'm rushing for the video okay so I'm going to redo that um, after the video and then once we've got that round, I'm going to leave that attached actually and probably going to redo it um, once we've got that round what we need to do is pop some glue on this part and I've not got, didn't have any Merlot to hand, so I'm not going to have to go Mossy Meadow. So just eyeball where you need your glue to come to. And I would just pop glue like that. Okay, doke. And you're going to have to hold that down for, for a while. So with one hand... I'm gonna, what I've done is I've stamped sentiment from beautiful friendship onto a stitched shape. Oh, don't need two there. Now, wouldn't it be good if I could get foam pads off one handed? Oh, there we go. And then we're gonna pop that on top of there. Okay, doke. And what I've done with this one is I've cut some of the paper here um, that's like realistic um, photographs of the flowers just to just to layer on. And there we have our na rather rushed napkin fold card. So I do hope you'll have a go. I do have a class in the post where you can purchase the supplies to make this. And if you want any more information, don't hesitate to get in touch. And thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.